Hi. Now if you saw my first tutorial on solving simultaneous equations by elimination, I showed you how to do question one. In this video, I want to show you now how we do question two. So for 2x plus 3y equals 7 and 2x plus y equals 5, like any simultaneous equation, I'd want to number these two equations, say 1 and 2. And with this equation, what I've got is that the y terms are different, but the x terms are exactly the same, both 2x and 2x. So that means that the only way I can eliminate one of the variables, it has to be the x terms in this example, is by subtracting one equation from the other. It doesn't matter which way round we do the subtraction. In fact, I'm going to do it as equation 1 minus equation 2. But I would definitely encourage you to try it the other way round, 2 take away 1. And you should end up with exactly the same y value as I do. So if we do equation 1 take away equation 2, we've got 2x subtract another 2x. So that leaves us with no x's, so that's why they get eliminated. But for the y terms, let's just come over here just to make sure that we do this correctly. We've got plus 3y, and then we are subtracting, so I'll put that in red, the other y term, which is plus y. And so we've got different signs here, minus and a plus, so that's replaced with a minus sign. So we have 3y minus y, which is going to be 2y. So when we do the subtraction, the x terms get eliminated, but 3y minus plus y leaves us with 2y. So we therefore have 2y, and then we've got 7 take away 5, which is going to be 2. Dividing both sides now by 2 gives us y equals 2 divided by 2, which is 1. And when you've got y equals 1, all we need to do now is substitute this okay, into either equation 1 or equation 2. I'm going to substitute it into, say, equation 2. But again, do experiment. Substitute it into equation 1. You should find you get exactly the same value for x as I do. So if I substitute it into equation 2, what we've got then is 2x plus y. y is now 1, so just put that in as 1. And it equals 5. So if I subtract 1 from both sides, I end up with 2x equals 5 take away 1, which is 4. Divide both sides now by 2, and you end up with x equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So my solution to this will be putting the x first as x equals 2, and then the y value is y equals 1. And you should check this out to see whether both equations are satisfied. So if x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4 y is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3, 4 add 3 does make 7. And if we check it out in the second equation, 2 times 2 for x makes 4, plus 1 gives us 5. So both equations are satisfied. So our solution is x equals 2, y equals 1. Now if you want to see the solutions to 3, 4, 5 and 6, you'll find these under the videos, simultaneous equations 3, simultaneous equations 4 and so on. Or if you want the full tutorial on elimination, just go to tutorial on simultaneous equations 1. Okay.